The New Colossus by Emma Lazarus Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land, here at our sea-washed sunset gate shall stand a mighty woman with a torch, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning, and her name Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome, her mild eyes command the bright air-bridged harbour that twin cities fame. Keep ancient lands, your storied pomp, she cries, with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore, send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Okay. Emma Lazarus was an American poet, and this poem was published in 1883. And this poem is um, engraved on a plaque in the, on the Statue of Liberty in New York. Okay, let's see. What, is the, what are the main themes of this poem? I think the themes of this poem are escaping from oppression, um, being welcomed to a new land, find, finding a place where you can be free. Um, I think this epitomizes the um, idea of America, of America's greatness in the past. I think America is changing with, has changed from this though, unfortunately. Okay, so um, the, the poem is comparing the Colossus of Rhodes with the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, now the Colossus of Rhodes was, a, was one of the wonders of the ancient world, and it was a statue to frighten away invaders and people coming. And here the poem is comparing the Statue of Liberty welcoming these people, welcoming uh, exiles, welcoming the um, refugees from Europe. Okay, so let, let's look at the, the, the words. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, so I think here brazen, I think it's talking about brass, but it's also echoing uh, very open and in your face as well. With conquering limbs astride from land to land. Okay, so it's got the, Colo this is talking about the Colossus and it has, it's in so big that it's, um, uh, it's got one foot in one country and another. But here this is saying that the Statue of Liberty is very different to the Greek, uh, the Colossus of Rose, not like. Here at our sea-washed sunset gate shall stand a mighty woman with a torch. Okay, so sea-washed sunset gates. Okay, um, sea-washed is, um, is New York Harbour and the fact that it's by the sea, yeah, and sunset gates. So, um, the, I think sunset here implies that this is the end of your, um, of the trek for the refugees and will stand a mighty, a strong woman with a torch and the Statue of Liberty holds up a torch. Who, whose frame, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning. Okay, so um, the flame that she holds represents uh, power and lightning imprisoned itself. And her name, Mother of Exiles. So the name of the Statue of Liberty is the Mother of Exiles. 
So exiles are people who've been exiled, who've had to run away, who've been cast out of their own homelands. So this is saying we're welcoming immigrants. From her beacon hand, so the beacon is a torch, a beacon is a bright light that, uh, tell, that could tell ships that there are rocks there or to draw people there. So from the beacon in her hand glows, shines worldwide welcome. So she welcomes people from anywhere in the world. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbours, that Twin Cities fame. So this is talking about the location of the stat Statue of Liberty. And she's looking at the harbour, yeah? And there's air between the, between the sides of the harbour. And I think here probably the Twin Cities are New York City at on one side of the harbour and uh, Jersey City on the other side. Okay, so it's talking about where she is. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. So this is now a reference to ancient lands, the old world. And uh, people are coming from the old world to, your, to the new world. And this is criticizing the, uh, the old world, Europe, uh, which, ha which is uh, uh, very, um, official and showy and ostentatious, yeah. So keep your um, your gr the greatness that you te that you tell everybody about, yeah. We don't want it. We don't need it because it's not useful for this people. These people cries she with silent lips. Okay, so the statue. This is the message that the image of the statue is giving. And then we've got the, the really famous bit of this poem. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to be free. So please come, come from Europe to uh, America. Yeah, Europe, give me the, your people who are tired, who are poor. The huddled, if you're huddled, you um, make yourself small as in fear or as in cold. Yeah, so huddle. This impri implies oppressed. Yeah, your oppressed masses, the oppressed people, yearning, desiring to breathe free. So if you come to America, you can be free and get away from the status quo and the impositions of uh, different states in Europe. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore. So here, this is a metaphor saying that the poor people escaping from uh, Europe um, are what Europe considers rubbish, yeah? Um, of your teeming shore, teeming full of. So um, your countries are full of people that you consider, that the uh, powers that be consider refuse and not not good for them send me these home the homeless tempest tossed to me so tempest tossed is a very good word good phrase because it says they've been tossed by the sea they've been thrown up and down in storms in the sea but also the conditions that they've had to live in in Europe um, by the oppression that has been over them in Europe um, has been a tempest for them. So send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. So the golden door, the land of opportunities, the land of freedom, yeah? However, Nowadays, it's much, much, much harder to get into the United States. And this was, um, the, the Statue of Liberty was a beacon of hope for um, people escaping from Europe, either during the, the, the First and Second World War or from religious persecution, like the Puritans originally, uh, who landed at Plymouth Rock. Um, 
so this i this this, this um poem i think is very emblematic of how the us used to be so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon the new colossus by emma lazarus